Cheeky peas, chickpeas are the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is Claire <laughs> Clarissa Stevens, and this is our daily food for thought, helping you lose weight with some wonderful, low calorie, healthy products. Hi, Claire. Hi. Now, today we have four flavours for so you. So exciting! Of chickpeas. We've so upgraded to an extra packet. We talked <laughs> <laughs> we talked yesterday about a company called Brave. Today we are talking about cheeky peas. Now, what does cheeky pea mean to you? Right, guys, I know you if you watched the video yesterday, you remember what I was telling you about the things that happen after you eat the the chickpeas. So there were some chocolate ones on yesterday's Looking video. Like a special pebble. Cheeky pebbles. So what you think this oh <laughs> cheeky pebbles. Right, morning Tina. She's watching, what's she's the name saying of the hi. Video? Can I just have a look at the packaging? It says lip smacking. Now I think what you could do lip smacking. So that's all I've got to say though. I won't say too much for the graphic details. Let's have a little <laughs> look at the nutritional information. First of all, they're gluten free, they're vegan friendly, they're high in protein and also high in fibre. Mm. Uh, I'll read the ingredients out. So chickpeas. People don't hear about that shit, Duck. They do. What they want to hear, Duck, is this. Every packet purchased helps to plant trees. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need, especially in the Olympic Park, Duck. Yeah, that is also important. However, we must read the ingredients out because for me, that's the important bit. Uh, that's chickpeas, sustainable palm oil. So that means no orangutans are being slaughtered you know through what? this palm oil. I've got oil. a best friend called an orangutan. In the school, we, we sponsored an orangutan called um, Did you? Bakuda. Right, this one has got curry powder in, 3%. And then the only other ingredient is soya bean oil. Quite a lot of curry powder look. So that's curry powder. This is barbecue. Sure this is chili and lime and Claire is holding the cheese ones. Per packet. Vegan cheese look so people know because they might be afraid to eat yeah, that. Yeah vegan Claire, cheese. Claire this is for you. 40 grams. Guess how many calories? 155. Now, I feel these packets are bigger as well than yesterday, don't you think? Yeah, I'm just comparing that to a packet of Cheetos. Right, do you want to break those open? <laughs> We're going and... to cheese first, are we? Yeah. It, I do yeah. like this green colour, so, so I'm quite be excited. Between Claire's different flavours, she is going to be having Coke Zero Cherry. And you'll be pleased to know I'm official taste tester by having water between my courses, guys. Oh, you know I don't do the water people. For those of you wondering what's behind us, this is the Queen Elizabeth Ooh, Park duck. here no, in Stratford, sure East London, they Leighton. They don't smell very cheesy. So these are the cheesy flavoured. They don't smell flavored. very cheesy, Duck. Right, so not, oh, I can smell the cheese from here. But not as, as much as I would have thought, Duck. Right, now there's no colour. I was expecting some colour like yesterday's ones. It does look a bit like the sea salt one. Right, let me just show the viewers. So these are the cheese ones. I can smell lots of cheese. I'll have a few more. Let me just. I feel like the way to do it is just get a hand. What do you think? I'm not I'm not a fan, really. It is a Cheeto cheese sort of taste, though, isn't no. it? No. Yeah, it needs think. to be more strong. Well, I think that is strong. I think it's because it's got fake cheese in there. Right. Let's move on to something that Claire will absolutely love. One thing I do like about these, though, is you've got a little bit of leftovers around the packet. <laughs> you know, I know you guys like to do that. When you finish your crisps or whatever, you put your finger in the bag and you get all the dip, all the sauce out. Who right. likes to do that? Now the, I bet that's you, Tracy. Now the barbecue ones have got onion powder, garlic powder, tomato powder, and sweet chili powder. Do you want to break those open? What Joe's going to do though for anyone who's have a bit of problem like me, because I am going to try them for the viewer. But if you've ever had, you know, frazzles, do just open them. Telling people about something. Yeah, we'll talk and work. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Do you think she's there on a social? You're working. Come on, Doc. You know that they repeat on you sometimes, those frazzles and stuff. Yes. So I'm going to try these and let you know later if they do repeat. Okay. Very important. So the cheese ones are done. Let's move to the barbecue Again, ones. Again, Doc, lacking flavour. Let me just have one. You can, you can get a hint of the flavour, but... Not as what I would expect. No, that's definitely not very barbecue -y, is it? Maybe shake it a bit. 
Right, next up we've got the curry flavour. I'll let Claire open those. Right. I'm going to have a few more of the barbecue. Mm. That is slightly disappointing on the flavour of all these. Right, because yesterday's was really strong, wrong, wasn't it? Yeah. These are actually, for the viewer, a little bit more yellow colour, like oh, curry. Yeah. So these ones actually look like curry. And you can see a bit of yellow on the packaging. We'll read out the ingredients in a moment. They do smell a bit curry fried, but... Again, not enough flavour. You can feel it a bit more than these ones. Yeah, definitely more flavour than the other ones. But still, not what I would expect. Oh, oh! So I'll just show you the colour of those. Not bad, the ones that... Right, now where, when Guy Claire opens the chilli and lime, I'll tell you the ingredient in the curry ones. These ones are curry powder. Ooh. 3.8% and also Kilanto powder. I don't know what that is. A bit of chili powder, cumin, turmeric. I would like to say that after I ate a few of those, it's now I can still feel yeah. it in my mouth. So that's probably my favourite so far. Yeah. That's the curry flavour. And last Ooh. one. So this is chili and lime. Now, this is what I would expect it to see. I'm hoping they're going to be hot and spicy. Let me get one of those in. No. Do they look red? A little bit, yeah. Look. If I could eat them, they're not that bad. I can taste the lime more than the chilli. Mm. Another just... one with the aftertaste got as well. Let me just show you those. So I think the best ones... I think we need to try the barbecue ones again. Okay. And give it a little shake. Give, give, give that a shake. I only say that, guys, because on both the, the chilli and the lime ones, up, I've got an aftertaste after I ate them. Mm. The chilli and lime have got lots of ingredients and, again, different flavours, mm. all natural things. They've even got extra virgin olive oil in those. Well, yeah, I'm getting a bit more of that, but it's not smoked enough for me, these. No. So, because it's in a smoked barbecue, not the barbecue. No. My favourite are definitely the kicking curry. That's how they describe mm. them. I would like what to do you think? Yeah, the kicking curry and the chilli and lamb. I'd like to try the cheese again. Right, let's go back to the cheese. Because we just want to give an honest review. I think it could be because they've used vegan cheese, to be honest. I think that's why it tastes quite fake. This is why I said it tastes like what's it. I think what they've done that. Is a lot of the flavouring is not coated on them. Do you understand? So Yeah, the flavouring's in, the, in bag. the bag. So basically they need to add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil so it coats the Sticks it a bit more. But these, they are good. The cheese ones are actually nice when I've gone back to them. But overall, the selection we had yesterday of the brave ones and these. Brave for me. Yeah, I think I have to say that as well. These are nice. But the other ones were more flavoursome and just tasty, weren't they? You've got a bit more crunch in these ones, I think. Yeah. Right, that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us. As always, feel free to like, comment, share this video with your friends. And if you're watching it on YouTube, click on subscribe. Peace out. Thank you for joining us, Claire. Thank you. We'll see you again soon. Two weeks' time.